and we are live. Hello world, it's Lee here coming to you live from this magnificent facility which is WeWork in San Francisco and I'm here with an expat Aussie Nick from Security Colony. How are you Nick? Yeah good, good. En enjoying it so far, six weeks in and uh, so far so good. Yeah and so you're here for three months and you're in six weeks and so we've just had a, uh, a talk from the Australian landing pad here which is an, um, an Austrade initiative and you're part of that of that initiative at landing pad and the idea is that there are um, landing pads in five places in the world I think Shanghai, Singapore, uh, Tel Aviv, Berlin and San Francisco. Nice. So um, how have you found the whole landing pad thing? Look it's been great I mean it, it the whole thing has been um, it's been a whirlwind of an experience over the last six weeks you know landing in market there have been you know pretty constant meetings uh, lots of people to, to get to know um, really a, a new market to get to understand um, but it's it's been great having the support of the Austrade team yeah. um, and also we're part of a special uh, cyber security specific landing pad okay. um, so we've also got support from Aust Cyber which is the uh, Australian Cyber Security Growth Network um, so they've been helping on some of the subject matter specific introductions and stuff as well. Right. So we'll get to um, talk about Security Colony in, in just a bit but I sort of want to try and discover a little bit more about the landing pad. So you know, from the perspective of if someone was interested in getting involved in the landing pad, I mean, obviously they can go through the website and contact, but what was the process for you and, and what was sort of the decision where you went, you know what, this is the best way for me to go and enter this market? Yeah, sure. So, I mean, our business has both a, a professional services part and then also our online platform, which is Security Colony. So for us, we always built Security Colony with the view of it being a, a global, scalable business um, and so when we saw the landing pad opportunity come up um, one it was the opportunity to get into the market here in San Francisco um, to meet so many of the people who have ultimately built you know the software as a service industry as it is today yeah. um, really evolve the product um, meet some of the potential customers here uh, and really just fast track a lot of the learning experience so that was that was the decision for us it was about having that sort of bite-sized three-month opportunity to to test the waters yeah. um, without having to really you know flip yeah. up, flip up the company move sell, your life and everything the else and the, the whole thing yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. and I suppose um, I've heard a lot of um, uh, you know horror stories about people that you know Silicon Valley it's the Disneyland I remember when I first came here it was like the visiting Disneyland you know the, you're a techie sort of person you go this is you you know you, you've got to come to the valley and San Francisco but you know there are a lot of not only Australian companies but companies that get a little bit of seed money they come here um, 200 250 thousand dollars in the bank and um, burn it all doesn't pretty last long. doesn't last long burn it really quickly and then all of a sudden they're, they're heading back home wherever they came from and whether it's Australia or any other country um, so it's it sort of de-risks that entry into the market for you doesn't it yeah absolutely and and with the support of Austrade you know a lot of the um, a lot of the just the logistics around setting up the the company here and and getting the legal sorted and everything else, you know they can help with the introductions around that. Um, you know we spent a day up in Seattle with Microsoft that Austrade had organised. Um, we were down in Silicon Valley meeting with Silicon Valley Bank and some other venture capitalists. So just a lot of those relationships and introductions. Look, the reality is you could probably do most of it yourself if you had the time, but you know you're an entrepreneur. You don't have the time. Yeah. And I think, you know, as you say, it probably just helps to lubricate those networks and just make reduce some of that friction that it might otherwise exactly. be there. So tell us about Security Colony. Tell us a little bit of the backstory, and then and then where is it at today? Yeah, so Security Colony came about, we started it in 2015, um, and our belief is that there is about 80% commonality between the cybersecurity problems that organisations are facing and also the solutions to those problems. So basically we have a cybersecurity consulting business in Australia that delivers projects across hundreds of clients, so we deliver thousands of projects each year, and all of the content from that we make available in a de-identified, reusable way through Security Colony. And our belief is that that allows organisations to get 80% of the way towards solving their own cybersecurity problems by learning from other, what other companies have done. Right. Okay. And so, so cybersecurity, uh, cybersecurity.com is that your domain or securitycolony.com? Security. Sorry, you talking to Scott. Yeah, yeah. Securitycolony.com. Securitycolony.com. There's a free level of access, right. so anyone can sign up. Um, can download a whole bunch of cybersecurity resources that are all developed for real companies 
um, solving real problems. Someone has actually paid consulting dollars for it. Right. So it's all genuine, battle-tested. It's not just sort of put together in an academic hothouse. Right. And so they get free access. That's a level of fr a freemium, if you like, and then yep. they can obviously upgrade to a premium subscription from there. And what would the premium give them access to over what the freemium would give them? Yeah, so the premium model gives them access to the whole whole suite of documents. So in there at the moment, there's about $10 million worth of consulting output. Um, at the moment, a premium subscription is less than $3,000 a year. So, you know, our pitch is that you get a 1,000 to 1 return on investment. Right. And basically, if you get one document out of there a year, then it's going to save you money. Right. And so as part of the landing pad, this is the three months sort of, they bring you in for three months, you're six weeks into it. Have you got family at home? Or you, obviously you've got some family. I know you mentioned that in the talk that you just did earlier. Yeah, so they're, they're here at the moment. So oh, I, spent the, uh, I spent the first month here on my own, although I did duck home for the weekend at one point. Yeah. And uh, that, 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 weekend. that surprised a few people over here, the concept of a 14 hour flight to duck home for a weekend. But, you know, love your family you've got to do it yeah, yeah. and um so they're here here at the moment uh here for a month and then i'll be here for the the last month before going home so that's how we're juggling it right excellent and the and kids the, you're putting kids in school here or homeschooling them how do, how do you juggle that yeah so we're homeschooling them for the month that they're here but yeah. you know I, I grew up a lot traveling and um i think anyone who's done it knows that the kids are probably going to learn more from being in a foreign country and experiencing a different world than they will from uh, a month of school. Couldn't agree more. We've done a lot of travel ourselves, and we believe that we, we and we live that uh, with, with, with certainly with, yeah. uh, with our daughter. Um, all right, Nick. Well, look. Um, so, if people want to reach out to you and contact you, they can contact you through the website. Um, and I think uh, I think that's all my questions. You got anything look, else you want to add? No, look, it, it's been a great experience. Um, we have learned a lot more, a lot faster than we anticipated that we would from being here. Yeah. Um, and yeah, you know, I just encourage people to uh, sign up for Security Colony, of course. Yeah, sign up for Security Colony and go and check out the Australian landing pad. And I think the the, the work that I was trade doing around this is is fantastic. As I said, I think it really de-risks it. I've um, had a couple of companies that I've brought into the US without any support <laughs> and had to learn the hard way. Um, so I think that anything you can do to de-risk and to enter those markets and help, uh, you know, create, as I said, release that friction from some of the market um, and get into networks, it's all, it all helps, right? Um, Absolutely. So all right, well, best of luck to, to you and I hope it goes well. And so we just uh, the last thing is after your three months, if you decide, can you sort of come here full time with the landing pad? Is, there a, is, is that how it works? So the landing pad's just for three months, but obviously as we get towards the end of that three month period, we'll all start to figure out on, on our own sort of individual terms, how we're going to do it moving forward. So we've got a guy based in Seattle and then another one in uh, in Dallas. Um, so we do, we will have a continuing footprint here. Uh, and ultimately the question for us also is, you know, where we want to be based. I mean, the landing pad in San Francisco is great, but it's such a massive country. There are a lot of different markets and um, it's just one of the decisions we'll have to make. So when you go home, when you go home for a weekend, this is the last question, all right, Jack, I promise. When you go home for the weekend and it takes you 14 hours, what do you spend two hours there and then fly back 14 hours? Well, you know, you got the time zone, so it's it's not too bad. Oh, you, so fly, you fly out Thursday night, you get in Saturday morning and then stay for the weekend, fly out Monday night and get back Monday the middle of the day. So you only lose about one day. Okay, that's cool. All right, Nick, so we're coming to you uh, live from the Australian landing pad at WeWork in San Francisco. We'll be back with more very shortly. Uh, remember, Beach City Life, follow us on Facebook and uh, check us out on YouTube at Beach City.